Oh yeah, beautiful no, hog snapper. Hard. I have no idea how big they're supposed to be, so this guy gets to go back. Offshore, catching what? Lane snapper, mangrove snapper, grunt, yellowtail. Get him, Jacob's home. Woo, yellowtail. Sure it's a yellowtail snapper. Oh, there's some shrimp on your GoPro. With the yellowtail. They need to be bigger? Yeah. Oh, it's coming. Beautiful yellowtail, though. Ho, oh, oh, ho, get him, get him, get him. Oh, 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 real, real, real. <laughs> Are you in the bottom? You're in the bottom. He got you. Oh, no, he's the. Yeah. He took you into the, took you into the rocks. That's why you got to stay just a little bit off the bottom. So. See how I got the rod tip right at, right at the edge of the water like that? Yeah. And the line's still going off, right? Mm -hmm. Let the line go until it stops, right? That I know. But with the rod tip at the water, this is the key. Water. Stopped. Lift up. <laughs> Survey says yellowtail. No, oh, that's a lane snapper. That's a lane. Someone's hitting it. There he is. Real, 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 real. <laughs> what we got here? Survey says that's a grunt. A white grunt. 
How in the world did you hook him in the bottom of the jaw, not even in his mouth? Ask him, not me. Ooh. What you got over there? I had something light, but I had something heavy. Jacob Lion has here two options. It's a Mr. Big Line Snapper. Get over here. Hello, Mr. Lion. Hey, is he 11 inches? <laughs> they only got to be 8. The other guy's still alive. I didn't measure him on the bank. Put up to 15 inches. The other guy's still alive. You 10? Get him, Katie, get him. Fast and furious. <laughs> Lean snapper. He too small. You're lucky, Dick. You know, you ain't, you ain't gotta crank at light speed, dude. <laughs> Once he's hooked, he's hooked. Cranking at light speed, he'll get him up any quicker. Mangrove, he might, he might go 12. He might go 12. Is he Mr. Dinner? If he goes 12, he is. Ow. Man. Damn. Oh, got him. Kuda got him. Oh, it's a it's a hog snapper. Ooh. Hey, that's what's been. Oh my god! It's a hog snapper. Look at that mouth. Oh, he's so pretty. A... Look at his eyes. That's the first one I've ever caught. Oh, give me my hook, dude. There we go. Can't you get some? I guess that's why they have that thing attached to them. Oh yeah, beautiful no. hog snapper. I have no idea how big they're supposed to be, so this guy gets to go back. Look at that. <laughs> Woo! That is so cool. Isn't he a pretty fish? Yeah. What do you think of that? Something totally different. I don't go offshore much. Last few times I've been offshore, it's been a charter. I've never run offshore on my own accord. But today we headed out of uh, Boquilla, went through Captiva Pass, ran about 24 miles south-southwest of Captiva Pass, ended up off the, the tip of Sanibel, about 60 feet of water, and we weren't using big tackle, 15-pound braid, spinning tackle, set up with a little knocker rig, live shrimp on the bottom, ended up with a bunch of small yellowtails, some keeper lanes, which ended up being fish tacos. 
And we had that big cuda hanging under the boat, which picked off a couple of the smaller fish, unfortunately. But the cool part of the day was that hogfish. I know I said hog snapper several times in the video. That's what I thought they were until I got home and researched them and found out it's not a hog snapper, it's a hog fish. But first time I've ever caught, first I've ever seen in person, which was pretty cool. But let me know what you think. I don't know if we'll ever do it again, but uh, running that Rabalo 20, 20 something miles offshore didn't bat an eye. She ran like a champ. Smash that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any more upcoming content, and I will see you on the water.